Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 50 days of marriage. 50 days. That means we have one week left, allegedly, till decision day. And like I said last week, I am so over this season of Married at First Sight. I'd probably rather be watching The Family Chantel or maybe even Married to Millions or something. But we will talk about all that and much more on a brand new episode of The Jasmine Show. What's happening, y'all? It's Vince. It's Jasmine. I'm I'm like, where where's this energy anywho, coming from? But okay. Anywho, I had, it's the show. It's showtime. You gotta, more excited about this than you was watching that episode. I gotta no. I I have to say I really enjoy recording our show for y'all, obviously. But uh that episode wasn't it. It wasn't doing it. Was it. Boring. I have, it wasn't doing it's it. It's gonna for be me. a very short episode uh review today. Guys. Uh I really do appreciate them giving us a little taste of decision day though, because that's what I that's what I needed to feed my soul. You they know better what I'm not split decision day into it's two gonna episodes. be it's got they better not. <laughs> they better not. Crystal, producer. <laughs> don't leave Crystal out of this. Don't do it. She be in everything else, might as well. <laughs> Anywho, let's talk about episode number 16 even though it's only been eight weeks allegedly can we talk about the fact that they was married for eight weeks Mm -hmm. and we've been watching this for 16 make it make sense it's about to be like 18 20 right anywho uh weighing the decision which made me think oh we getting we getting there all right uh with decision day fast approaching Each spouse spends time with friends and loved ones as they weigh the life-changing decision of whether to stay married or get a divorce. How are we feeling about these couples uh, this episode, my beautiful fiance? I'm thinking about, uh, what is that, brown sugar? When Tay Diggs was like, oh, "Oh, we're celebrating my divorce, (laughs) is what I'm thinking about some of these people next week. It's going to be a rough one. My divorce. It's going to be a rough one. Uh, I do I do want to start with, again, thank you. If you're watching this, please make sure you like, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you for, for hanging out with us this whole time. Hope the volume is good. I was making, that was the other reason. I, I was okay, other, gotcha. That's gotcha. the other reason I made sure I had the energy today. But yes. I, I turned everything up, so I'm hoping it's good. Uh, but... Where, where would you like to start? Would you like to start? So I, I got something. It interesting don't even for you. matter. This is going to be so quick. I got something interesting for you right now. So uh, again, please make sure you're following us at the Jasmine show on Twitter and Instagram. Jazz tweets live during the entire show. Uh, something that married at first sight tweeted uh, the actual married at first sight tweeted. Uh, they tweeted a picture a B or C. Right. And I think the question was something along the lines of, I don't know what we who about. said something who said some random line but I decided to change this up a little bit I need to know <laughs> I didn't know he was doing that <laughs> can we just look in the camera like oh make sure they can see us though can you see me yeah peek over or maybe we could yeah peek over the thing like we're gonna use this as the as the thumbnail <laughs> who is the most trash y'all I need to know I need to know who is the most trash? Because at this point, I think we've we've decided that everybody. I think Johnny is the most trash. Everybody's a little bit. Well, everybody knows. If we had to, if we had everybody to, everybody knows. You know, Ryan was man. the trash man last week, though. Ryan was doing a great job of being trash. Michaela was pretty chill this episode, but in general, in general. All right, this is my ranking. And again, we don't Johnny like... is number one. Okay, Michaela and then Ryan. Ryan only gets a half a pass because he never ever showed up fully invested. Mm. I mean, after the honeymoon, at least. You saying C B A as of right now? Yes. Johnny's Johnny the most is trash. the most trash because he was smashing. He was bringing her back and forth. Oh, he, okay. I was like, who is smashing? Yeah, yeah. He was going back and forth every episode. He was like bashing her for being her natural self, and she's been like a hundred percent like with him from jump. Bow's friend Sarah was catching strays all over Twitter. Bruh. I better not see that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Sarah, it's on site. It's on just site. so you know, okay? I don't even know what Sarah Because I don't like. even know what Sarah looked like because I got yep. tight because when they started and Bow was talking to this girl, I was like, is that Sarah? Bow's, I was ready. Bow's, Bow's other random friend. Was good. She was a good friend though. She was giving good advice. Great advice, great advice. But she almost got hands just, just off the strength. <laughs> yeah, she did. Off the strength. I, I was like, like, is that Sarah? I don't like her face. She talking to <laughs> But Johnny Lamb, huh? Everybody, everybody knows him. And yeah. I'm just realizing because... 
uh, and I guess we're starting with Johnny and Bow now, uh, yeah. because uh, that, and I think I think mine might be around the same because Ryan is not putting that much energy into anything. So. He hasn't even given her like. I feel like there's no mixed signals with him. Mm-hmm. So that's why you only get a pass. Right. Because if you made it seem like, oh, I'm into you sometimes, and then sometimes I'm not into you, then I feel like that's kind of playing with the emotions, and that goes to Zach and Michaela. But we're going to come back to that. I get you. But let's, let's discuss but yes. that. So Johnny trash. Let's discuss that bow bow one time. All right. So uh, Johnny, let's see what I got for Johnny today. Uh, I had that he met up with his friends. Don't remember his friends' names, but they both look like they were named Jarek. Jarek and something. Yeah. I was like, Jarek? They both, they both look like Jarek. Uh, <laughs> but at one point, his friend was like, so you're not enjoying how your marriage is going right now? And Johnny said something like, since the honeymoon, bro. Like, I can't. I'm like, really, bro? You just go, like, th- where have these friends been at? Where's the Jareks? Where have they been at <laughs> where for you to Jareks vent been? to this whole time? If these yeah. are the people that you're venting to, Johnny... But you know what's interesting though? Every time like he brings around his family or he talks to a friend outside of the guys, uh, they're always like kind of playing devil's advocate. Like, but what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? That is, that and is. I'm like, that's probably why he goes and talks to Ryan's ass instead of talking to. He said, like, I need an equal amount yeah, of trash yeah. to understand. Yeah. My- <laughs> that's the only time he's happy. When he remember when he went to the cookout and his cousin was like, "Well, you gonna have to compromise and da 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 and say that. all this stuff." I'm like, every time he's around people that are actually like, "Hey, holding him accountable," mm-hmm. that's the issue. Same thing with Ryan. Don't yep. even get me started on him. So I sh- shout out to anybody that, uh, that accountability I- is the word of the day. Let's do like the count. Uh, accountability I, I got you i got you okay uh i shout out to again anybody that gives johnny like a little bit of sense or something like that uh i i think he had gone back to bow and said like oh you know the guys they encouraged me to see it through or something like that i don't know if he was talking about his boys or the guys no i think he was talking about his boys his boys yeah uh but yeah he was. He just didn't seem. He seemed frustrated that they were not saying go get a divorce right now because that's what he really wanted to hear. He wanted. He wanted yes men. Yeah, that's exactly what he wanted. So anything else about live. Johnny or Bao aside of, from the fact that Bao was? Let's looking, talk about Bao looking. She was looking had like, her freakum she, dress on. She was looking about Bao. Her little her lipstick was on point. She, she did some. She had some loose waves in her hair. She was looking good. She I was, was like, I see what you're doing. She was looking about Bao. I appreciate that. Bao. Yes. Uh, nah, she was doing her thing. I think she got her confidence back and she's like man you know he's an f boy you know what i'm saying and zach is trying to work on their relationship clearly so but we'll talk about that you're, you're done. we'll talk about <laughs> that uh the last thing i had which i don't even remember what part of the episode this was what? but uh he said something like oh we're playing the blame johnny game and i'm like who's blaming you sir is it is it the blame john anywho let's talk about somebody else uh let's discuss rachel and jose which uh again they haven't been that much of a of a force since uh, the lockout yeah. situation. Yeah. And that's been the main, the mm-hmm. main topic. So like, I literally still have no, like no pictures or videos. Of I them. mean, <laughs> like this, you just dwell. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And somehow they always end up doing this every episode too, which is kind of funny. So I was just like, I guess it fits. So um, all we got from Jose is that he's concerned. So Rachel's issues with him concerns are that he doesn't listen. Mm. Which I'm pretty sure he wasn't listening when they was talking. He was over there. He was Very pulling positive. the Henry, yo. He Big was Henry. dogging that food Big while Henry she was energy. talking about him not listening. Go ahead. <laughs> um, Get a plate, And cut. the other thing is she was like, he has a, he's consistent and he's one person, but we waiting for the lockout, uh, the lockout Jose to come back. Cause he was cussing her to F out. He told her to get the F out. Bounce. He hit Martin. Bounce. Yeah, I was I, like, oh, I, I forgot it was that it was that yeah, turned up, and was, again that was because she called him Johnny. Yes, I don't know if that garnered that response, but it didn't. We know this. Yeah, well, but also, so for Jose, his issue was like communication, which I'm like, how can you communicate if you don't listen? But the other thing was, um, he said cheating would be a deal breaker for him. Did we ever get any tea about if anything happened with Rachel and the ex that night? She didn't say anything, I don't think. She's not going to say... I think she said nothing happened, obviously, but... 
Is that obvious? I don't know. Let us know how you feel about that. I mean, if you start a marriage or start a relationship with somebody and something happens and instead of going home, you go to your ex's house. Maybe he lived close. I don't know. It's possible. But, well, also she didn't have no keys. She had She didn't have no keys. So what's she going to do? Not a damn key. That's a good point. And even if she did have the keys, the dead boat was on, so. I'm saying she wouldn't, I'm saying she didn't have keys to get to her house regardless. If your keys, the keys was locked in their house. she was locked out. Yes. Yeah, Johnny. The more I think about it, I mean, I was like, oh, shit. I, I call him Johnny. Oh no, my bad, my bad, <laughs> my bad, bro, my bad. Uh, yeah. Anything else about Jose e Rachel? Jose Rose? needs to get it together because he's still talking about going to Vegas. She was like, she even changed. I feel like she tried to compromise. She was like, oh yeah, so I want like one big trip, like biannually is what she said mm. and she was like yeah like nine hour flight i'm like nine hours you can't even get the asian nine hours i'm like where you going i'm like if he can't compromise with that a bi-yearly big trip i mean yeah bi-yearly big trip then he's trash bro all right and she needs to go out with her friends and then he'll see be watching her on social media <laughs> And then he'll be so concerned that next time he'll go on that trip. We'll see. We'll see about that. You didn't like when I went on trips with my friends? I don't have an issue. You don't dislike it, but you don't love it. I don't love it. You don't love it. So you want to be there, right? Sometimes. Yeah, see? Yeah. It works, Rachel. Yeah, sure. Uh, Bring some light into my life right now. Can we talk about uh, the best couple, of course? Uh, Girla. Girla. Mirla E. Gill, of I course. I don't feel like they were that good this, this episode. It though. was a little interesting. Well, they had some cute moments. They always have cute moments, though. They do. But I where, think that where I, everybody else's cute moments at. I seen I seen Rachel Jose doing a little smooching smooching here and there, but that's that's cap. I seen that Twitter was dragging Gill this episode. Why was Twitter dragging First Gil of all, this time? When Gill spoke to his mom, he said Mirla expects him to pay all the bills. When did she say that? Now, I think, again, that I don't think that that's something that she actually said. I think that's how he might see things. So. And you talking to, your, to uh, you know, tu mama and a telefono. Yeah. And espanol, so. Telefono. Tele- Your, tele- yeah. My bad, my bad. Get your accents Tele- together. Telefono. Thank you. Uh, and espanol. Yeah. So, I, I think that. He's you think he the, just was yeah. making it worse than it yeah. was? Yeah. That's what you're going to do when you're crying to mom. Yeah, but he said he likes to talk to his mom because she doesn't always take his side. She's very, mm. like, going to call him out. And what did mom have to say? I didn't watch that part. Anywho. I went to the bathroom. Anywho. <laughs> uh, but basically, Gil is saying that, uh, basically what I'm getting from this is Mirla said that she, like, Gil has everything she wanted, except for she kind of wanted somebody that was more, like, established financially and established in their career. And I can't fault her for that because she's 35. If I was 35 getting married, I would expect that too. I can see but that. he, I didn't realize that he just became a firefighter recently right. and I don't know how much they get paid and I don't know how long it takes for them to make more money. Either. 35. So yeah, I kind of empathize with Mirla a little bit because Mm. especially he's like oh yeah we're planning for kids oh yeah I don't care about money I'm not money driven but Mm. right now you need to be money driven at least for a little while you need to be getting to that bag you need to be getting to that bag he should be a little bit more money driven if that's the case if you're trying to plan a life buy a house have kids and y'all are both 35 so I'm not saying that 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 they too old but I'm just saying they get in towards you know, they getting there. Yeah, they getting up and, there. And so Mira's, they want to do it sooner than later. Mira's I'm sure. only gonna get more stubborn. Uh, he said something about the single life at some point. I thought that was BS too. He said she's. He said it was a deal breaker if she lives like she's single. I'm like, what is she doing that's single? Spending more money for herself. But shopping is not acting like you're single. Is she spending your money? No, showing she's not to, showing up to Dr Pepper like this. It don't that don't matter. <laughs> Do you think that I showed up places like that? You think that's drunk? I mean, not to drunk. your marriage that's counselor. Drunk, to but... your marriage counselor, though. <laughs> Do you think that's inappropriate? I I was joking around. I obviously. think it's about how you conduct yourself. So I feel like he's trying to make it into something that it's not. 
So I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think the real issue here is a lot of men say they want something. They want somebody that's a queen. They want somebody that's a boss. And there's two different kinds of men. There's right. the man that's intimidated by a boss. And there's the man that's going to step it up because they're with a boss. And I think Gil wants her to dim down so that he feels... Because she wants somebody that's a provider. And I feel like he wants to feel like he's a provider. Right, right, yeah. But instead of leveling up, he wants her to dim down. No, baby. That's not how we doing this. I can see that. I can see why and, you would think that, yeah. I mean, that's my... From a female perspective, that's how I feel. I see it. I see it. Because he can't say nothing else besides her complaining. What boss lady don't complain? I complain all the damn time. Yes, so she what? Does. But other than that, they have no like major issue. Their culture, they have a similar culture. They have a similar understanding. And he keeps like, oh, you forgetting where where you came from because you're living lavish. I'm like, that makes no sense. Y'all killing it. Gil. Giller. Gil, I want to like you so much, but, but he's great. It's just this one. Episode. It's that one thing I don't they like about find, you. Gil. They had to find something to, to pick at him about. Okay. Are we next. done with, with Gila? Let's talk about, uh, these two suckers right here who, this is the closest they've been together. The entire, can you even tell who that is? Which Brett. one is, which one is Brett and which one is Ryan? But Brett is with the red hair. I keep telling yeah. you this. Anyway. Brett, who is the woman. So Brett finally got an apology from Ryan, who moved out. And took the coffee maker. He took the coffee maker. That's like an abomination in my house. So don't take my coffee maker. What I feel like a previous season, somebody took all the seasonings. Yep. I can accept you taking seasons. I could buy some more seasonings. But a coffee maker is disrespectful. Only note aside from taking the coffee maker uh, that I have about Brett and Ryan is that when he finally decided to come back, he's like, yeah, I feel like, you know, I didn't want let this fester too long about the whole dating site thing. So I figure, uh, I figure it's about time to apologize. And, uh, Brett, who is the woman with the red hair, she goes, uh, appreciate that. (laughs) I was like, yes, Brett, Brett and bow made me so proud this episode because she, she killed that. You, you did not give a F about when she was trying and like, trying to communicate with you even though you guys are both non-confrontational and now that you realize you effed up and you will never have a chance with never. her you want to be like oh yeah i apologize it's too little too late at this point which she was like ice cold i was like yeah she wasn't even really ice cold even, yes she, she was, just, was she was just giving him a taste of his own medicine she, she was, was like look i could i could uh i could put my emotions in a bag or i could be yes. emotionless or reactionless and appreciate that even the hug like he went in for a hug well, I didn't even peep the and hug. she went like <laughs> that was probably she gave him the cold shoulder she gave him with some i was like yes some Brett. side action yes all right moving on that's to... crazy yeah we ain't got nothing else to say about them but i thought that was dope i thought that was yes. dope i was like go ahead brett Re- reclaim your time yes you know what i'm saying uh there's only one couple left to discuss of course so yikes and it is another none other than get about your seats folks get about your seats it is about time <laughs> We know what you came to see. You know what I'm we saying? Did we came to talk about it sucks that again, just the same way that I have no pictures or videos of Rachel and Jose. This is all the clips that I have of uh Michaela and Zach. It's so stressful, yo. It is stressful. So I stressful. Agree. Uh but yeah, let's discuss Michaela and Zach this episode. So apparently after they, you know, Dr. Pepper said you promised me that you're going to talk before decision day. Right. They left in the elevator together. We saw that. Mm-hmm. And then my kid was like, yeah, I'm hungry. He was like, oh, yeah, let's go get food. Right. So they hung out. And she went home with him, apparently. So based on the way the sister was like, oh, well, the marriage bed is undefiled. That's your husband. I was like, why is he having sex with her crazy self? Because it's crazy. Yeah, you're going to get yourself killed. I yeah. wouldn't mess with her. Yeah. Sometimes anyway. you got to you gotta dabble in the... Or dip it. Never mind. No. Anywho. Yes, Dr. Pepper. I felt I felt the same way. I, I needed the tea on that one. What's, what's happening? What's happening with y'all? But, uh, of course... Uh, what I forget what else we see. We saw them hanging out together a couple times. Uh, one thing that stuck out to me was that uh, Zach was talking to Gil. 
at some point, I guess. And Gil was like trying to motivate him, like get him to stay positive and stuff like that. And I was like, eventually, Gil feel like I feel like Gil switched and was like, bruh. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm like, I feel like this is a even the way that we're discussing this. It seems like a super lost cause. Why yeah, are we, yeah. Why are we putting attention? Gil was like, oh, so you like everything about her except for this one thing, and it keeps coming back up. I got you. I got you. <laughs> like, Seemed like a lost cause to me. Uh, the most important part of this episode that I really, really enjoyed, I had it under Michaela and Zach because I guess it, it was the most significant for them. Uh, all the couples were hanging out at one point and I don't know if it was the experts or somebody had posed the question. Of, it was Gil, babe. Gil posed? <laughs> Gil. You know Gil how- Gil is Woody and Imani I was going to say, I was going to say, you know, I was telling you, uh, when Woody, shout out to Woody and Imani. Umani. Shout out to, where Woody at? Woody just at? Just cause. To, I keep, I keep just- Just cause. I, there's so many pictures and videos I can't find, but I keep that there just cause. So shout out to Umani, just cause. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the producers might be feeding them questions also. Uh, Cause they had some questions in their season, yeah, yeah, but uh, amazing question. Uh, what would it take for you to say yes on decision day? And they went around the room. Everybody had something to say. Uh, I don't remember everybody's answers, but uh, I think Zach was just saying the same stuff. The same thing he said when Michaela got up and was walking crazy. Same stuff. Which makes no sense. He's saying, if I say no on decision day, that doesn't mean no to the relationship because it could work after the fact. And I'm like, if the decision is, are we getting a divorce or staying married? Why are we getting saying yes to a divorce and then continuing to work on our relationship afterwards? And Bao was like, that don't make no sense. Yeah. Not only was Bao like, that don't make no sense. I was sitting there like, what? Why? What? But again, he's he's posed some interesting thoughts i guess on that but for the most part it don't, it don't make sense for me to me if i'm gonna say hey I, I think i'm agrees. considering working on the relationship after this you might as well stay married and then mm-hmm. hope that after the cameras leave that will help because if not but i would be scared to be married to michaela after the cameras leave because if she did that what? on camera what? what you think she gonna do off oh camera? you're lucky i can't find the video right now they, Ooh, you know yikes. they had to show it they had to show it one more time yikes that's uh, scary they had to show oh i got it they had to show You know when uh when the producer crystal comes back out but um yeah i just thought that was i just thought that was crazy uh i hope we weren't muted that whole time uh but yeah uh yeah i yeah it's not zach, zach stop dicking her dipping <laughs> that it means the same thing that's who stop dipping excuse we try me. to we try to keep it pg uh, but stuff, in her cookie jar because adults. you're gonna get trapped stuff be, stuff be slipping sometimes <laughs> yeah. And clearly, clearly Zach be slipping up into Michaela apparently. And, oh no! Uh, and they're this both is too much. It's, it's too much. much. My bad, my bad. <laughs> and they both enjoying it, I guess. But uh, also at the same time, you gotta get up out of there, man. You gotta. You gotta. You got to. You can't. You can't let this continue. It's scary. All right, what's the? Let's do the ratings. Let's do these. Let's do these ratings because I don't have nothing else to say about any of these. Couples. I think this might be the last time we write. If it we is. Got, it is. I wonder if anybody's going to get. Next week is decision day. Yeah, I wonder if anybody's going to get a ten. Who's going to uh, stay married next week? But we 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 will see. We will see how this turns out. Uh, let's talk about Marilyn and Gill, who have received consistent nines since week nineteen. Since week thirteen, sorry. I would say I'm like seven point five. That's how confident I am that they will stay married. Yeah. But I think that 25% is kind of strong. I got to say, again, obviously we're rating out of 10. Nobody gets a 10 until after decision or decision day. Yes. When they stayed, when they both choose to stay together. Uh, apparently, Mirla and Gil's score have gone down. Uh, but let us know how you're feeling about the couples this week. 7.5 is interesting. Because I feel like it's really a, 20, a strong 25 to 30% that yeah. they won't stay together. Because really? finances is huge. Strong, strong 25. Yes. Okay. That is a that is a nice chunk, but I appreciate that it's strong. Because probably, let's see, um, I think week six is when it started turning around for them. They had a six. Yeah. And then they got 6.57 from us. 
Uh, so it was like, uh, we didn't really think it was going to be happening for a while. No. So it's nice to see where they're at now. And I feel relatively confident that they're going to stay together. Finances is a, is a major thing in, in any relationship. That's so. it. Let's talk about uh, Brett and Ryan. He's sorry. Negative 100. They got negative 10 last week. Negative 100 this week. Um, and she appreciates it. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. She should say appreciate you, bro. Word. Put on a, <laughs> a backwards cap, dapped him up and left. <laughs> Took the other coffee maker and just. <laughs> uh, Johnny Bao. They got a negative one two weeks ago. Negative two last week. Negative ten. Ne- Ooh. Negative. Johnny is just trash. And I feel like, I honestly feel like Johnny about to try to. I think Johnny realizing what he has now. And he about to try to be like, yeah, I want to work on this. And Bao about to be like. She keeps showing up in the freakum dress and the uh in the cheerleader yeah, she outfits. She ready. She ready to move on. You know she know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Make a little gourmet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I do have to state one more time because I don't know if we even talked about it. Uh-huh. Again, spoiler alert, but everybody should know by now. Uh, again, when they were having the that rumor conver- has the it. The rumor. There we go. Rumor has it. Uh, when again, when uh Zach was like, "Look, Bow, I'm really willing to work on our relationship." Talking about Michaela to Bow because yeah. she was like putting up a fight for Michaela. Michaela was surprisingly silent that entire time for a reason because she's trying not to look crazy. You funny girl. <laughs> you funny. Where's, my, where's my KK picture? You you a funny one? There. Oh no, it's blocked still. You you a you a you a funny girl. I just got to put that out there. But anywho, uh, again, I think it was really interesting to see her stay quiet. And again, uh, Zach or Bow stand up for their relationship, which was interesting. Yeah. And then she even said something along the lines of, oh, I would trust Zach. Uh, I wouldn't think of him to steal. Oh, she said, I don't, she basically said, I don't think Zach is dumb. But what he said don't make no sense. Is basically oh, that too. what she said. That too. That too. <laughs> but let's talk about Michaela and Zach. Uh Negative 19 two weeks ago. Negative 25 last week. Let's add a negative 30 on that. Negative 30. Somehow. These people are not staying together, bro. So obviously. <laughs> somehow they're still higher. If they than, are, they crazy. Somehow they're still higher than Brett and Ryan. Uh, last couple, Rachel and Jose has received consistent sixes from us the last couple weeks. At least they like each other. That's why they hired in Brett and Ryan. Hope so. They bumping and grinding at least. Hell. Ooh, um, they we, like each other. Did we get a did we get a hint that Girla and uh Girla that Girla has been bumping and grinding also? I don't think they have. He said we we consummated, that's what he said. He said that? He said that going into next week. Well we'll see about we'll that. We'll see about it. Six again for them? Five? Six? Five point uh, five? who we talking about? Rachel and Jose. I think they're gonna stay married. All right. Let's give them a seven. Wow. Okay. All right. Very, very generous. Uh, Folks, let us know how you feel about these couples in the chat. Let us know who you think is staying together uh, because uh, it's looking shaky. It's looking like a shaky, just a little bit shaky. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, that concludes a brand new episode of The The Jasmine Jasmine Show. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Make sure you're following us on the tweeters, of course, and the Instagrams as well. And uh, people, this is it. Last last week, well, next week will be the last it's week. It's the final countdown. Allegedly, again. But uh, yeah, we will see you next time, everybody. Have a good one and peace.